Hey guys, Ronnie from Greenlight Bites, and I'm here for a super quick video that will blow your mind and may have you never buying chocolate syrup from the store again. So we are going to make four ingredient, kind of five with water, <laughs> um, homemade chocolate syrup. Let me show you the ingredients. We got cocoa powder, maple syrup, vanilla, water, and kosher salt. And I'm going to add this with you and show you how quick and fast this is. It's amazing. I'm putting my pot, I have a nice pot here, on medium. And I'm going to add one cup of pure maple syrup to the cup. Um, I actually sprayed this cup with a little nonstick cooking spray. That way it helps kind of get all that syrup out of there really easily. You can also weigh it out. I believe it's 335 grams is a cup of maple syrup. Okay, we can do the drippy thing all day, so we're just going to call it even. <laughs> okay. Um, next, we're going to add one cup. This is one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now you can do, this is just the store-bought. You can do, of course, that famous name brand that everybody has in their kitchen. That's fine. I went cheap this time. <laughs> it's just plain old baking cocoa. That's what it's called. And if you look at the ingredients, it should only say 100% cocoa. And this should only say 100% maple syrup. Um, next, we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla, which I'll do off camera. So I only have one hand. We're going to do a half a cup of water. And we're going to do a pinch. I keep my pinch of kosher salt right here. Pinch of kosher salt. So I am going to add that uh, teaspoon of vanilla, and I'll be right back with you as we whisk. All of the cocoa powder is incorporated into the syrup, and all the fla those two flavors merge. Now, you may think this is going to have a strong maple taste, but I'm here to tell you it doesn't. It's, it's almost unbelievable. <laughs> the maple syrup just adds the sweetness and the cocoa powder kind of takes over. And this is about the fifth time I've made it in a few months, kind of experimenting with different um, kind of uh, measurements. Like sometimes I add less water, more water. And I found that this consistency really works really well. And I pour it into, I'll show you in a second, but a leftover um, chocolate syrup jar that I have from Old Bottle. And my kids didn't even notice. I'm not lying. And actually, a recent friend who was a naysayer who said, eh, it can't taste that good, came over and tried it, and she was shocked um, as well. So this is really quick. So I'm going to whisk this until it comes to a um, kind of a light boil, and I'll be back at that point to kind of show you the last stage, and then we are done. Okay, guys, it took about two minutes to get it to a boil. I don't I know a bad lighting. Wait, hold on. Maybe this will work. Aha! <laughs> there you go. Two minutes. You can see I actually, once it brings to a boil, I lower it to a medium low, low, and let it kind of thicken up a little bit. Now this part you can do to your liking. To be honest, I only let it simmer here for about a minute because it does thicken up once you put it in the fridge in your jar as well. And you don't want it too thick to where it kind of globs out of the thing and you don't want it too thin where it runs all over the place. So it's kind of a delicate balance, but it also comes down to taste. We are done. I save an old, some of you may recognize this, uh, kind of jar. Um, I put a little chocolate syrup sign on there and I'm going to funnel it right in there. Okay, that's it, how simple is that? So give it a try. And let me know what you think in the comments. And um, let's try to stay away from that corn syrup filled stuff from the grocery store. That would be nice. Anyway, for more light ideas, check out greenlightbites.com. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.